quote. In order to succeed, your desire for success should be greater than your fear of failure. Don't let the sadness of your past and the fear of your future ruin the happiness of your present. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue to count. End quote. Every breath that I'm taking, I can feel that they hate it. They've been patiently waiting, but I know I can make it. Through the pain and the lies, just look me in my eyes. This is not a disguise, but together we rise. I do this for the fans, family and my friends. You gotta look within, believe and know that you can win. So be proud of yourself, cause I'm proud of me. Let your light shine bright so the world can see. Hey everybody, it's Tony Miller Jr. here again with another episode of TMI Presents For Your Inspiration. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the message because I don't want to hold you too long today and I'm so excited about today's message of talking about success metabolism because I talked about the definition of success to you guys two weeks ago and then I, I, I knew there's going to be questions, okay, Tony, after I define success, what's the next step? And what I realized is, you know, a lot of people, once they think that they became successful, they stop, they get happy. So what I was thinking about, how can I relate a message? to those guys and let them know people watching don't get don't get satisfied with being successful or don't get satisfied when you think you became successful so I thought about it how could I exemplify that so I thought about the human body and how we digest food I thought about the human body's metabolism and if you think about it people with a high metabolism they have the ability to digest their food very quickly and not only do they digest their food very quickly they become hungry very shortly after that and then people with a slow or a low metabolism, what they do is once they feel full, they sit there and they're content, they're satisfied, and it takes them a while before they become hungry again. So if you guessed it, that's what I'm talking about. There's some people out there that once they get a little taste of success, since they have a low success metabolism, they're satisfied and they're no longer hungry. And by the time they're hungry, that success is worn off and worn down. And then they realize, wait a minute. I'm hungry for success again. But then you have the people that have a high or a very fast success metabolism who's able to digest that success very quickly and then stay hungry for more and more success. See, those people with hot with, with low success metabolism, what they what it is is they think that success is a destination. And I told you guys a couple weeks ago that success is not a destination, it's a process. So what you have to understand is once you get that first helping, once you get that first serving of success, it doesn't stop. It's not time for dessert. It's time to sit down and get another serving. It's time to digest that and get back on the grind. But see, so many people out there, that we're, we get lazy and we get happy and we feel as though we've made it. And in reality, we haven't made it. So many people, they get they get tired of seeing the same people successful and they start having those songs, start singing those songs, oh, whoa, it's me. Why can't I get what he has? Why can't I get what she has? And the reason is those people that continue to become even more successful is because they're digesting their success and they're staying hungry. But you, in the other hand, you what you're doing is you're getting successful, you're, you're taking this piece and you're taking that piece and you're letting that satisfy you. And it's taking you a long time to digest it. So instead of getting over that success that you've had, you're sitting there and you're sitting on it and you're sitting back on the couch and you're and you're patting yourself on the back. You're giving yourself a, a round of applause and in reality, you haven't done anything. So what I need you guys to do is to learn to digest the success quickly and stay hungry for it. It reminds me of a story, yes, again, with my side brothers. Because my sophomore year when I took over as president, Saab really wasn't what Saab is today. Saab was just a regular organization that had meetings and, you know, everybody knew we were there, but they didn't know we were there. So when that freshman class came in my sophomore year and those guys got excited, they bought into the Saab system and they turned the organization of Saab around and Saab made another name for themselves and became the big organization on campus. They became the biggest organization on campus, the most popular organization on campus. Whatever Saab touched seemed to turn to gold, no matter whether they advertised two weeks before a program or two minutes before a program, it was going to be packed. People wanted to co-sponsor events with Saab because they knew it was going to turn to gold. But what I realized my junior year is that those guys that made Saab what it is, made it so successful, 
and put Saab back on the map at GSW were the same guys that had got they got complacent, they got satisfied, they had a slow success metabolism. So what they were doing, instead of digesting it quickly and wanting to become better and wanting to become greater, they sat back and they read their own press clippings and they got and they said, look at us, we've done this, we've done that. And what started to happen, they started to fall back behind other organizations. And, it, and what happened, Saab needed a wake up call because what it was, their success metabolism was just going too slow. So what I want you guys to realize, if you want to continue to stay in the front of everything and continue to win this race in life and continue to embrace success, I need you guys to develop a fast success metabolism. Digest the success quickly so you can stay hungry because if you have a slow metabolism, you're not going to want to stay hungry after that success and ultimately you're going to be left behind everyone else. So my challenge to you today is to speed up your success metabolism so you can continue to gather and so you can continue to climb that stair step of success. Step one, step two, step three, step four, and so forth. Because understand, success is not a destination. It's a process. So this level of success, it's a process. That level of success, it's a process. This level, that, everything is a process when it comes to success. So learn to digest that success quickly so you can move on and become even greater than what you are now. That's been another episode of TMI Presents for Your Inspiration. And remember, you can never get too much 